Okay. So, before beginning to, to solve the questions, there is one more important point which you have to keep in mind. Okay. So, whenever you are trying to convert rupee into paise, you need to multiply. For example, I told you that 100 paise makes 1 rupee. Okay. So, now if the questions ask you like what is the value of 5 rupee in paise. So, in this case, you are converting the value of rupee into paise. Whenever you have to convert rupee into paise, you need to multiply. Multiply by 100. Okay? The reason is because we know that 100 paise makes 1 rupee. Right? So, this is our main equation. So, if I have to convert a rupee into paise, I need to multiply it by 100. So, since 100 paise makes 1 rupee, they are asking me the value of 5 rupees. So, what will I do? 5 into 100 is equals to 500. So, the value of 5 rupee is equals to 500 paise. So, this is my rule number 1. Now, the same thing if I have to convert paise into rupee, then I need to divide it by 100. Okay? So, if I am converting paise into rupee, so which means that suppose if I have to convert 500 paise into rupee form, so what will I do is, I will be dividing this 500 by 100. So, it will give me the answer 5. So, which means that 500 paise is equals to 5 rupee. Okay. So, if you have to convert paise into rupee, you need to divide and if you have to convert rupee into paise, you need to multiply and both the cases you will be doing it with 100 only. Okay. For example, if I have to write, uh, write rupee 12 and 75 paise. Okay. If I have to write it in rupee form, how will I write? I will write it as rupee 12.75. So, whatever is the value of paise, we will be separating it by putting it a dot. Okay. And if I have to convert the same thing in paise, then I will be writing it as 1275 paise. Okay. So, which means that I will be dividing it by 100. Clear children? Whenever you are maintain, mentioning a paise, do not forget to include the abbreviation P. Because P denotes for paise and this R, R denotes for rupee. Clear? And if you have to separate the rupee and paise, you need to put a dot after the rupee to show that the number which is on your right hand side shows the Passe value and the number on your left hand side shows the rupee value. Is it clear children? So, now keeping all these points in mind, shall we proceed with our questions? Okay. So, here is your questions and let us see how fast we can solve them in order to solve the maximum number of questions. Okay. So, here is your first question. Your first question says, A 50 rupee note can be changed into how many 10 rupee note? Okay. And your options are A, 4, B, 5, C, 2 
and D1. Okay. So, the question says that there is a 50 rupee note which you have to convert it into 10 rupee note and when you take the 10 rupee note that value and this 50 rupee note value should be the same. So, what am I going to do here? Which operation are we going to follow? Very good. We need to follow the division, right? So, we will be dividing 50 divided by 10. So, 10 fives are 50. So, which means that I have to carry 5 10 rupee note in order to make the value as 50. So, where is 5 here children? Yes, it is option B. Is it clear? Shall we move to the next question? Okay. So, here is your next question. Your next question says 30 rupees Thirty rupees and seventy five paise is expressed as and your options are A thirty point two five option B. 35.50 option C 30.75 and option D 30.50 okay so 30 rupees and 75 pes where can you see that Yes, it is option C. So, you have to put a dot after 30 and this 75 paise will be coming post the dot which is towards your right hand side. Clear? Shall we proceed? Okay. So, here is your next question. Your next question says 10 rupee and 50 paise is equivalent to Option A, 2 5 rupee coins. Option B, 1 10 rupee coin and 1 1 rupee coin. Option C, 1 10 rupee coin and 1 2 rupee coin and option D 2 5 rupee coin and 1 50 paise coin. Okay, so it may be little confusing. So first thing we will change it into multiplication form. So it it says that two five rupee coins. Okay, so two five rupee coins will give me how much? Two into five is ten. So I get rupees ten. So is this my answer? No. The second one says one ten rupee coin. Okay. And 1, 1 rupee coin. So, you have 1, 10 rupee coin plus 1, 1 rupee coin. So, 10 plus 1 is I have 11 rupees with me. Wherein it is asking 10.50. So, even this is also not my answer. Let us come to the third one. They say that 1, 10 rupee coin. So, 10 into 1 is 10. Plus 1, 2 rupee coin. 2 into 1 is 2. So, which means it is giving me 12 rupees. That is not what I need. So, even option C is also not the right answer. Coming to the next one, it says 2, 5 rupee coins. So, 2, 5 rupee means 2 into 5 is equals to 10. And 
वन फिफ्टी पैसे कॉइन सो फिफ्टी पैसे विल बी लाइक दिस सो वॉट इज दंसर टेन प्लस फिफ्टी पैसे विच इक्वल्स टू टेन रुपी एंड फिफ्टी पैसे सो इज दिस वॉट दे हैव आस्ट येस सो ऑप्शन डी इज माई राइट आंसर क्लियर चिल्ड्रेन सो वेन एवर यू गेट क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस फर्स्ट यू हैव टू सॉल्व इट बिसाइड द क्वेश्चन so that it gives you a clarity of what is the question being asked for clear shall we start the next one okay so your next question says a purse is worth 75 rupees okay so the value of a purse is 75 rupees okay so what denomination will you use to pay the value okay so the purse cost 75 rupees we know that there is no currency or note which has a denomination of 75 rupees right so the options given here are 1 50 rupee plus 1 20 rupee option b is 1 100 rupee note option c is One twenty rupee note, and option D is one fifty rupee plus one twenty rupee plus one five rupee note. Okay, so now tell me how will you use the denominator? One fifty rupee plus one twenty rupee give me how much? Fifty plus twenty is I get only seventy rupee. So it will not solve my problem. Second question, second option says that there is one hundred rupee note wherein I have to pay only seventy five. So why should I pay extra? Right. The next one says one twenty rupee note. So again, this will not going to solve my problem. The last one says. One fifty rupee plus one twenty rupee plus one five rupee is how much? It is seventy five. So which means that option D is my right answer. Clear, children? Shall we proceed further? 